Hello, Abundance Eat Community. How are you doing today? It is so good to just come before you again today for our next episode. Today, we want to speak a bit about choices and especially in the words that we use and the things that we say because it's, it can either bring life or death to our situation. Now, if we look at what Proverbs said in 1821, it said that the tongue has the power of life and death. Now, if we understand that the tongue has the power of life and death, it tells us that our stakes are very, 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 very high. Our words can either speak life or our words can speak death. So we have to make a choice in the words that we speak. We have to now get very conscious of what we say. And if we really want to make the utterances that we make, our tongue can either build up others or they can, you know, tear them down. So it is not only about what we speak to ourselves, but what we speak to about others. So just imagine, you have a very hard day at work. You went to bed the night before you were thinking about the things that you have to accomplish the other day. Or you had some argument or disagreement with your boss or a co-worker. So you get up the following morning, and as you get off your bed, the first thing you do is stoops. And they say, oh gosh, I really can't take them there today. You know? That kind of behavior, or you know, um, I don't feel like going to work. I, I, don't, I know they don't like me there. And I don't like them either. What you're going to find is that you're going to find that, yes, people don't really like you. Or you're going to believe that they don't like you. And then you're going to start to develop resentment against certain people. However, if when you get off that bed in the morning, you will exclaim, as we, re we saw in Thessalonians, to rejoice evermore. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will be glad in it. Let us develop that posture. It doesn't matter what is happening in our lives. It doesn't matter if our bills are not paid. It doesn't matter if we feel sick in our bodies. We have to speak life. And so we will declare, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will be glad in it. Okay. So we have an interview. We have this job that we want. We go to that interview. Coming out of the interview, we may feel in our minds that the interview did not go the way we, we wanted it to. Or we look at the composition and feel that we would not be treated fairly. So you come out of the interview and you're speaking to your friends and relatives and say, Yeah, I know they ain't giving me that job. Or yeah, yeah, I know it. If you would have said that, you would have spoken what you want out of the interview. You would have made the decision for the panel. You would have made the decision for the employees. Or, in the other, on the other hand, you have an exam. And you say, I know I fail. Okay, so why did you go and do the exam? Because you have already made a pronouncement on the results of the exam. You want to buy a car, so you went to the loans officer. You went and you saw the car, you loved the car. And because of some questions, the loans officer might ask you, Yeah, I know, they, I know they wouldn't give me that car. You would have made another pronouncement. Why can't you just come out and rejoice? Why can't you see yourself doing really well on work, having fun with everybody, having a laugh, having a conversation, having a really good working relationship, speaking those things as if they were? Why can't we see ourselves coming out of that examination room, celebrating our success. Why can't we see ourselves coming out of that interview and say, yes, thank you, Lord, I've got this job. Thank you, Lord, I've got this car. And you see yourself getting in that seat, getting that job. You see yourself in that new car, taking your family around. Spirit is the substance of things hoped for. It is a substance. So you have to now see yourself into that thing that you have faith for. You have to see yourself speaking life into your children. You know, some of us have issues in the sense that we have a difficulty with the child's father. And we will tell the child, you're nothing good. You come on just like your father. You don't see just like your family. You, 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 you see you, the road you on, you end up in jail. Few years later, police arrest your child you would have made that pronouncement before. All I'm saying about that seed community, we are planted by the rivers of waters. We bring forth fruit in our season. All I'm saying is that we have to change the way we look at things. 
we have to speak life life and death reside in the same place they open the same door our mouth the question is when that door is open is what do we speak and i'm saying moving forward as we grow and we continue to to speak life what is going to have more life we're going to have more life and more life and more life in all situations even if we are sick in our bodies we speak life to that situation because we have life in our mouth and we should speak life a little bit more because we serve a God who is life. He's alive. We don't serve a dead God and so we're going to speak life. We are fighting from a position of victory. And so guys, listen. Today is a transformation in the way we speak. Yes, it's not going to happen every day. So this is what we're going to do. The things that we want, we're going to write them down. And we're going to put them in conspicuous places. So put them on your fridge. Put them on your bed head. I am so happy and grateful now that I earn $100,000 a month. I am so happy and grateful now that I have the car of my dream. I am so happy and grateful now, now that my family lives a loving life. I am so happy and grateful now that my husband is so loving. I am so happy and grateful now that the relationship is improving every day. I am so happy and grateful now that I have the house of my dreams. Change the way we speak. Let us put gratitude to the things that we speak to God for and we give thanks on a daily basis. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, abundant seed family. Today, is the day the Lord has made. We have been exposed to certain things. We are going to change the way we live. We are going to change the way we speak. And we are going to see things change in our lives. This is it for this video today. Don't forget, if you like this video and it has been a blessing to you, press the subscribe button. Press the notification bell so when the next video is uploaded, you're going to see it. And don't forget to share. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye. Next video.